It says Proverbs chapter 13 verse 6. It says righteousness keepeth him that is upright in the way, but wickedness overthrow the sinner. Right, Shalom. I want to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh Hashem Yahushai, Hashem Rakakodash. Want to give double honors to the apostles of Great Mercy that rule well. Salutations to the men of the Hopeland Sensei, like Liz Makazar from the Trendal Camp. Just want to do a little edification for the like sake. All right, and this video is basically, you know, about rehearsing righteousness and also entering into the kingdom. Because first entering into the kingdom, we have to do the things that you know the Lord Yahushua Yahushai set out for us to do. The scripture said, "Let us hear the whole conclusion of man that they fear the most and keep his commandments." All right, and then the Lord said um, unto one of the servants, "Friend, why comest thou without thy wedding garments?" So now. The, the, the white raiment is the righteousness of the saints. So for us to enter into that marriage, enter into that marriage chamber to be delivered, guess what? We have to, you know, rehearse and also maintain righteousness. All right? We have to rehearse and maintain righteousness. Righteousness is what? Living according to the will of the Lord. All right? Trying to, you know, to keep the commandments to the best of your abilities and you know do the works of an evangelist wake up the elect all right and there's something that we had a we had a upkeep you know to make it into the kingdom hey, even brotherly love because the scripture said if you, you might have all these but if you lack charity guess what you have nothing all right this is second corinthians chapter 13 Slack chapter 1 verse 13 it says for I write none other things unto you than that ye have read or acknowledged and I trust ye shall acknowledge even unto the end and when you look up the word acknowledge it means to, to know thoroughly all right so basically to to dissect the word as the scripture said um a workman needed not to be ashamed rightly dividing the word of truth when you look up divide means to to break down directly and correctly all right so by you know you breaking on the scriptures directly and correctly should the spirit of yahba shimmy or shy because the scriptures said you're gonna receive you know power from one high through the holy spirit which what yahweh shy coming down and something with us giving us the understanding of this word we, we will be able to know the word you know to and to be fully acknowledged no, to acknowledge the word fully all right to understand the times that we're in and basically to stay in the spirit all right verse 14 it says as also ye have acknowledged us in part that we are your rejoicing all right so we rejoice in the apostles all right we rejoice in the men that yaba shimia and shai through the spirit set up over us it says even as ye also are ours in the day of Yahweh Shai Mashiach. So the apostles will rejoice when they see, you know, the fruits of their labor ascending into the clouds, which are the chariots to the Mosai. Ascending into the clouds and being delivered. So that day gonna be a day of rejoicing. Alright? It's gonna be a day of rejoicing. Alright? The scripture said, um, you know, I, I believe it's in Psalms, it says, you know, when the Lord bring again the captivity of Zion, we were them not that slept, asleep. Because why are we going to, it's going to be so beautiful that we're going to like, you know, this really happening right now. You know, it's going to be a day of, of laughter, a day of joy. It's going to be a, a time of crying, but not of, not of sorrow, but of, 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 you know, of so much joy that all you could do is cry. But to enter into that joy, to be a part of that joy, you have to maintain good works. The scripture said, let ours always maintain good works. All right? So that in the day of Yahweh Shem Mashiach, we will have rejoicing. All right? Going on. This is um Philippians chapter 2, verse 15. Um... It says that ye may be blameless and harmless, the sons of Yahweh, without rebuke, in the midst of a crooked and perverse nation, among whom ye shine as lights in the world. So we have to be, what, blameless and without harm. Alright? And without rebuke. 
The scripture said, let none of us suffer as a murderer. Now, we can suffer all things, but let us suffer for the word's sake and not commit offenses that will make the ministry be blamed. All right? Two-thirds are going to talk wicked about us, but let us do the things that we commit sins. All right? Let us do the things that Yahweh Shai did. As Paul said, I will that all men be as me. The scripture said, be followers of me as I am of Yahweh Shai. All right? So now if we want that kingdom, if we want that penny, we have to labor for it. And laboring don't only mean, you know, doing the videos, going out and, and, and doing the work. Laboring is also, you know, putting the work to keep your garment clean. It's also putting work into yourself. All right? The scripture said there is one that is... Um, that benefits others and not himself. You have to also benefit yourself. The scripture said, work out your own salvation with fear and trembling. All right? You have to work out your own salvation with fear and trembling. All right? You can write here, Philippians 2.12. It says, Wherefore, my beloved, as ye have always obeyed, not as in my presence only, but much more in my absence, work out your own salvation with fear and trembling. So we have to work out our own salvation. All right, because we're not only here to wake up the elect, we're also hoping that we are part of the hopefully elect. All right, and being part of the hopefully elect, we have to make sure that our garments remain white. We have to make sure our garments remain white. All right, the scripture said, If you do these things, you shall never fall. All right, and the scripture said, The first scripture that I read in Proverbs 13 it says, Righteousness keepeth him that is upright in the way. So if you practice righteousness, if you rehearse your righteous acts, get what? Guess what? You're gonna remain in the way. All right? You're gonna remain in the way. The Lord Yahaba Shemia or Shai gonna, you know, He gonna guide you along the way onto salvation. But if you if you constantly doing wickedness, then guess what? The Lord gonna take away that light from you. And Paul said, hey, he don't want to be a castaway. And none of us don't want to be a castaway. So if you want to make it into that kingdom, guess what? We have to do right. We have to re rehearse that righteousness. We're going to fight demons. We're going to fight unclean spirits. Them spirits are going to plague our minds. But guess what? We have to always go back to our foundation. The foundation is what the scriptures. Go back to the scriptures to, to ease our mind, to help us fight them spirits. You know, pray unto Yabba Hashem Yahu Shai. All right? We have to pray unto the Lord, fast and pray, that the Lord will strengthen us to endure unto the day. Alright? This is, um... This is First Peter, chapter 2, verse 12. It says, Having your conversation honest among the Gentiles, mean what? That the scripture said, um, what defile a man is not what goes in, but what comes out. All right? Don't let perverseness come through your lips. All right? That whereas they speak against you as evildoers, that they, by your good works, so they have to see your good works. Not only going out on the highways and byways, but guess what? It's a continual thing. That even when you're not doing the works, they're supposed to look at you and say, hey, this man always in character. This man is a Hebrew, is right always. He, he believes in what he's doing. Even when his elders, his superiors, his apostles not are wrong, he always in the, in, the, in the spirit. And that's how we are to do. All right? That's how we are to strive to be. All right? That they may by your good works, which they shall behold, glorify your Haba Hashem and Shai, in the day of, of visitation. All right, because guess what? By you, you always rehearsing righteous acts could actually convert men. All right, because they would realize that you know this thing is not something that you take lightly. This is not an act. This is something that you you believe in. Because we're not only living for ourselves, we're actually living for others also. Our actions. Remember that our actions could convert people. Our actions, people will look at you and say, now nah, this is not a normal man. And they would put more observation into the word. And hey, guess what? Your actions could actually, you know, be the bait that will catch that fish. A, a, um, a potential member of the elect by your own actions. So we always have to maintain um, righteous acts. Always have to maintain good works. If we want to make it into that kingdom. Alright? We can't be doing whatever we want in this truth. 
the scripture said don't take this this liberty for an occasion of the flesh we can't be doing that all right say second peter so like second peter chapter 3 verse 13 it says nevertheless we are according to this to his promise look for a new heavens and a new earth wherein dwelleth righteousness and that is what we're looking for that kingdom wherefore beloved seeing that ye look for such things be diligent that ye may be found of him in peace without spot and blameless so you have to be diligent to, to maintain good works that when the lord yahabah shem yashai comes guess what the lord gonna find us in good stand the scripture said blessed is that servant whose master come and find him doing so so the lord had to come and find us with our garments white and spotless the scriptures didn't lie when it says without spot all right so you have to pour away all wickedness all all guile all enmity all wickedness from your dwelling place all right because guess what in that day you can't be like like adam and say well the woman made me eat every man had to stand for his own account all right the scripture said that at the time of ignorance the most high winked but now required all men everywhere to repent so now is the time where you have to actually you know get yourself right you can't blame nobody for for not making it into the chariot it's gonna be upon your own head all right so if you're if you're looking for that kingdom guess what you have to do right all right and this is the final precept here it says hebrews chapter 11 verse 16 it says but now they desire a better country that is unheavenly wherefore yahweh is not ashamed to be called their god for he had prepared a city for them prayed for them a city all right so now the lord prepared a city for us so the lord wouldn't be ashamed to be called our god because why because in that day the ones that with him are the ones that rehearse that righteous act so the lord wouldn't be ashamed the scripture said um in the day in that day shall the iniquities of of jerusalem be be sought for and shall not be found the lord said he will pardon them whom he reserved all right so the lord wouldn't be ashamed to be called our god because why because we rehearse the righteous acts all right we rehearse the righteous acts what the scripture said the unrighteous shall not enter into the kingdom of heaven all right put away unrighteousness because unright guess what we can't be righteous and unrighteous at the same time the two don't go together together that's like an oxymoron all right that's like water and oil all right they don't go together so we have to enter into that kingdom all right enter into them chariots we have to put unrighteousness away from us and rehearse righteousness to the best of our abilities so with that i want to give our praises on our glory to yahweh by hashem yahushai by hashem Kodash. I give double honors to the apostles of great mercy who not rule well. Salutations to the men of the whole land, Saint Selek. This is Makaza saying Shalom.